friends, it is uh, round 4P to day 17. I have a goose. I had a goose yesterday. Um, I vlogged Sunday. And let's see, Monday I had a 0.4 loss. Tuesday I had a goose, Wednesday I had a goose. Um, ovulation is supposed to take place today or tomorrow. I don't feel any signs or symptoms, but that's what the calendar says. And I always stall out when I ovulate. I don't have trouble when I'm on my period. So that's where I'm at with that. I have a total of eight pounds lost in 15 days. Um, I am a slow loser, so I'm actually right on track. Um, I have a goal to try and at least carve three pounds off a week and I, I you know before the end of February but I think that goal's probably unrealistic for me so I may have to rethink that uh, my intentions are oh and I you know with the goose I haven't done anything I did have some wine Saturday night and then I had a, a large loss the next day. Wine is not on protocol, mind you, if you didn't watch my previous vlogs to hear me rant about that. Um, but I have been on my own protocol and um, I do feel thinner. I can see a difference. My clothes are different. And, you know, I'm just, I'm going to sit tight for another day with the goose and actually probably through the weekend. Um, Sunday is my day 21 and it's also Super Bowl and I, I already know I'm going to be doing a mini load fat fast on Sunday uh, that is not on protocol and for those of you that cringe at that I'm sorry um, it's just what I my intention I need some fat back in my system um, I haven't quite decided how I'm going to go about doing that yet, but I, I, that is what I plan on doing. And then I'll get back on, um, and I will go until the end of February. And the February 21st, I have a trip out of town planned, and I intend to do a true interruption. I've never done that before, a planned interruption. And that will be over the weekend of the 21st, I think in February, and then I'm gonna come back and start again. And then my intention is to stay on all the way through Easter. And depending on where I'm at at that point, that will be definitely an extra long round for me. I've done them before. Um, I think with the breaks in between, I will be able to manage doing that. And if I find myself cheating, consecutive days then I will be changing my plans just let's see I think the week after Easter somewhere around there two weeks after Easter uh, will be my one year anniversary and so I have a couple goals in place that I am going to try and attain and that will dictate along with where my cycle is as far as Tom um, when I start and stop as far as that week before Easter because I unfortunately started this round and started my period the very next day and so that isn't normally what I would have done. I tend to follow um, Simeon's protocol in the sense of when to start and stop the round and I, I didn't start it that way but I will be ending it that way. Okay, so I'm I'm good to go regardless of the goose. I, I look back over my, my pre previous three rounds and I typically, you know, and if you talk to other people, they have the same thing happen. I'm halfway through, um, or, you know, approaching halfway through in that second week, I usually start getting gooses and I'm usually ovulating. That's exactly what's going on, so. Um, let's see, my newbies <clears throat> that I wanted to shout out, chickadee, so C, capital C, C, two C's, if I stuttered there, I-K-A, capital D-E-E, -E. so Chicka D, she started about three months ago, she is on the juice and could use some 
support. And then Amy Wilson AW. So A M Y W I L S O N A W. She's a newbie in Queensland. She's been, she's going probably, I think she may be in her third week, somewhere around there. And then expat mom in Yokohama. So E X P A T M O M I N. Y-O-K-O-H-A-M-A. -A. She doesn't like to vlog very much. She'd rather watch, but she has been throwing a few up. She has been doing HCG for a while, but she doesn't have a lot of vlogs up. Um, and I just find it interesting to uh, to listen to her and um, being in a another country and, and her finding things to eat and the fact that there are very few obese people around her. Um, they don't have obesity in that country. It's only here in America that uh, we're dealing with that. And uh, for the most part, I shouldn't say only in America, but definitely when you step on soil in this country, we'll see it all around you. So those are my so-called newbies. And um, please go check them out and just say hey. And I will check in with you tomorrow. I hope everybody's doing well. And um, keep your head in the game. All right, everybody. Ciao. Take care.